Hey guys, I am back and we're going to be doing the makeup look of the broken doll. And right now I'm just setting my face with this concealer and it's by e.l.f. And I believe it's in the light shade. And I just put it all over and then I go in with the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And it is in the shade Gleam. And I just put that on my nose and my cheekbones. Then I just go in with this spoolie to brush out my eyebrows. I decided to put my hair up. And now I'm gonna go in with this MAC eyeliner pencil and it is called Smolder. And I'm just gonna outline and I'm looking over because I'm looking at a reference photo. I'm just gonna go outline the cracks Now I'm going to go in with this James Charles palette and it's going to be the black shade and I'm just filling it in in the crevices of the cracks. And now we're going to be going in with this e.l.f. gel liner in black. And I'm going to be going in to the cracks. I'm going to give it some dimension, deepen the color a bit. Now I'm going to be going in with this NARS palette, and it's a blush in the shade Orgasm. And now with my NYX liquid illuminator again, I'm just going to go back and put it underneath my eyebrows just to make them pop. And here's me dancing. <laughs> And here is a white eyeliner, and I'm going to put it underneath my waterline, just so I could get those doll eyes. And here is a NYX lip liner pencil in the shade Soft Brown. I'm going to be going in with this NYX Lingerie in the shade Lippy 24. It's one of my favorite NYX lipsticks. Then I'm going to be going in with this e.l.f. Lip Lacquer Lip Gloss in Clear. Here I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Duo in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to lightly go underneath my brows because my brows are pretty full, so I don't really need to fill them in that much. <laughs>
And here I'm just going back with my NYX illuminator. I'm just gonna put it on my nose, on my cheeks. I decided to put more just so I could have that porcelain doll look. Now, you don't have to put liner, but I decided to put liner because I decided that the doll looked very sad without the liner, so if you want to put liner, that's your choice. And here is the final look. And here is our second look, the skeleton. I'm not going to be going over what concealer and all that because it was in the last one. <laughs> so now I'm going to be going in with my Tarte bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess. It's one of my favorite bronzers ever. And I'm applying it above where it should be on purpose. I swear I do know how to apply bronzer. And now I'm going to be going back with my James Charles palette and I'm going to be going in with Flashback, which is the white shade. And I'm going to be putting it all over my T area, my T zone. It looks like I'm baking, but I'm not baking, it's just white eyeshadow. <laughs> And now back to our Smolder MAC liner. We're going to be tracing out the crevices of the skull. And going in with that black shade, we're going to be filling it in. And we're going to have to blend it out because we don't want no sharp edges. Now don't be alarmed, I did make it very thick, <laughs> but I will later correct it and make it thinner. Now I'm going to be tracing the eye sockets. And now we are tracing the nose area of the skull. I decided to put more white because it wasn't very transparent, so I decided to make it more pigmented so I, as you could tell I just had to go back and forth back and forth and now I'm drawing in the teeth Now we're drawing in the little root canals of teeth. This is the part where I kind of messed up because the teeth 
don't look symmetrical at all. <laughs> like some of them are a bit higher than others, but it's okay. Then I decided to make the skeleton frown a bit. And see this is the part where I noticed that it was it was too big. So I went ahead and wiped off the excess and fixed that up to make it look thinner. You could add on flowers and jewels and stuff to make it Day of the Dead if you want to, but I decided to just go with this plain skeleton. And then I noticed that something was missing and I needed to add black liner underneath my waterline. And here is the finished look. And for our final look, we are going with the Jester. And we're starting off with this Kylie Jenner palette in Blue Honey. And we're going to be going in with the shimmery blue shade. And going back to the James Charles palette, I'm going in with the red shade. And I decided to make each eye a different color. I feel like that's what best represents the gesture. Going in with the Stila highlighter in Champagne. I'm going to be going in on my cheekbones, my nose. Now I use the black liner to line the outside of my lips and you'll see why in a second. Now I'm going in with, with this Revlon Ultra Mate Lip in the shade Spice. I'm going to be creating an ombre effect of the black going into this red color. And now I decided to go in with this liquid eyeliner. And here I use the black liner to trace out what I want to draw. I go back with the liquid liner to draw in the little circles. Then going back to my pencil liner, I fill it in. I decided to go back with the black shade just to make it to intensify the look of the gesture. Now 
Then with the liquid liner, I decided to add triangles underneath my eyes. And now going back with my lip lacquer in e.l.f. clear, I added some shine. Then I noticed that something was missing so I went ahead and added a nose. Now I needed to go back and fill in the nose and the triangles. And here's my creepy evil <laughs> gestures. <laughs> I go in with the white shade to set my eyelids. I couldn't find my regular eyeshadow base, so I used I used that instead, and I decided to go with black, just intensify the look, and I went in with the white eyeliner and just gave it a little bit of shine to the nose and to the circles. I went ahead and outlined more lines above my eyes and my eyebrows. Then I decided it wasn't enough, so I added little triangles below my eyebrows. And it took me a while to blend, blend, blend. I'll look it in. I went ahead and added a little bit of highlight underneath my brow bones. And now enjoy this footage of me struggling with my eyelashes <laughs> for like a couple minutes. I believe that these lashes are from e.l.f. I have no idea what the lash name is, but I'll always I'll link it down below. And here is the final look. I, I think this one was my favorite out of all three. I enjoyed this one the most. Now comment down below which one was your favorite, um, happy Halloween, and I'll see all of you guys in my next video. Enjoy! Bye guys!